Hey guys, welcome to Skilllink. Recently, we were discussing the different types of suspension springs. The links for the previous videos are in the description below. Do check them out. For today, we'll be talking about the last type of suspension, the hydroelastic suspension. Some cars like the Austin Allegro, Vanden Plus 1500, Rover Metro, and Austin Apache, etc., are equipped with this type of suspension spring. This type replaces the conventional suspension system with an integrated fluid-filled displacer which connects the front and rear wheels on either side of the vehicle. The continuous pitching motion of the vehicle provides an uncomfortable ride. So, the main idea behind this type of suspension is to increase the vehicle's resistance towards pitching. In the hydroelastic suspension, a rubber displacer unit is installed between the frame and the suspension linkage. A pipe is used to connect the rubber displacer units on both the front and the rear end. There are two separate pipes on either side of the vehicle, and an anti-freeze liquid is used to pressurize this system. This is how a hydroelastic suspension looks like. A displacer contains a rubber spring, a metal separating member which holds a rubber damper valve, and a rubber diaphragm which is attached to the suspension link. In the hydroelastic suspension, a rubber displacer unit is installed between the frame and the suspension linkage. Let's imagine a situation where a car travels on an irregular road and there is a sudden upward movement on the front wheels. At this time, the liquid inside the rubber displacer gets displaced and flows along the pipes to the rear unit. Then it moves the diaphragm downwards, thereby leveling the car. Thus, the tendency of the body to oscillate to and fro is avoided. The opposite happens when the rear wheels run over a bump. Once the wheels descend, the vehicle comes to its normal position. But what happens when a car corners? Well, we know that a car will experience a tilt while cornering due to a centrifugal force. When conventional springs are used, we can actually feel the tilt, can't we? But in case of hydroelastic suspension, Equal amounts of fluid flow to both the front and rear end, thereby providing the same amount of pressure, which increases the stiffness of the spring. And in case of bouncing, when all the four wheels deflect, the motion will be resisted and the ride will be stiff, thereby reducing the pitching of the car. So that's it for today's video, guys. See you in the next one. Until then, bye.